morning. It's been about uh, you know a month or so since I made a video. I thought I would uh, throw up. A, it's actually been two months since I uh, you know changed up my philosophy on the beard. Um, last video I made was about talking about how I was going to quit um, cutting in a line, um, and I've, I haven't done it since then. Um, the cheek hair grows much slower. Uh, upper cheek hair grows much slower than like down here um, but it's probably the best thing I've ever done it's probably it's, it's kind of crazy but it's taken me um, what well, I've been growing a beard for about 10 years now um, and I keep screwing it up having to cut it off because I you know mess up my cheek lines or you know or do something stupid um, but for the last two months I haven't even touched it at all uh, all I do is I I, you know, trim down to where I want my sideburns to stop. I haven't trimmed the back, the neck, the length, anything. I've just gotten up in the morning and um, put a little beard oil in. Um, there was a time, about a month ago, I made a video about blow drying my beard. And, it, and I was all excited about that. I did that for a while, but then I just got tired of doing it in the morning. Just adding one more thing to the list of things I have to do in the morning. I mean, I like the way it looked, but... It was just too much work, and really, we grow beards, well, at least most of us grow beards, because we want to just remove that aspect of the chore of shaving every day. So my new philosophy for the last two months is I just let it do what it wants to do. Um, eventually, you know, I'll probably have to trim some split ends off, but um, since I've just kind of left it alone and haven't been messing with it, I haven't really seen any split ends. And, I'm sure I was getting them before because I was constantly like manicuring my beard, like brushing it and you know, just obsessing over it. And I just I literally get up in the morning, take a shower, um, put a little beard oil in, run a brush through it, and then I don't even really look at it or touch it again until the following morning. And because of that, it's been much healthier. Um, and I think it looks better um, when the cheeks started to the natural line first started coming in it was driving me nuts but I just tried not to look at it and now that I'm about two months in um, the you know it's kind of filled in and made my it actually appears that my line is higher now but I have this weird um, cheek growth like it literally comes up comes over and then kind of drops down into where my normal sideburns are but luckily it does it on both sides so it's more uniform as opposed to just one side and then not so um yeah I'm, I'm happy with it. it it's uh like I said I haven't trimmed the neck at all I haven't trimmed my back here literally just get up and just go and I'm just so much happier it's unfortunately it's taken me a decade of growing a beard and trial and error to kind of just figure out that the best thing to do is nothing that's uh very ironic because i've made you know 20 minute long videos on beard care and things to do when in reality i could have done it in 30 seconds and basically said let your beard grow and put beard oil on end of story and that's it so if i ever make a beard advice video again it'll probably be about 30 seconds long and I will say just that. Let your beard completely grow, don't trim anything, um, and you'll be happier. Now, I have to note that there is a point uh, with initially growing your beard that you will have to block it off um, to have that illusion of thickness because as we know, I've said it time and time again in videos that when you first start growing your beard, obviously your chin is your lowest point and that's going to grow longer as opposed to the sides and if you want you know from the side to have you know that that look of it all being kind of the same length at some point along the way you know two or three months in you'll have to cut the you know kind of chop the bottom off right here to allow the back to kind of catch up but other than that i would say just let it go um actually i have done a little trimming the only thing I've trimmed is um, every once in a while, you really can't see because my hair is so dark, I will kind of do the the handlebar mustache a little bit and I will trim the, I'll 
I'll twist it like a, you've seen in so many beard videos where they're trimming. I'll twist the ends and then I'll just snip off those little errant ones on the end. But other than that, that's it. Um, the mustache is still growing in. Um, I'm happy with that. Um, just feels much thicker now because I just let it all go, like the back and the under, under beard here. You can't really tell, but you know, I have pretty dense thickness from about the, the bottom of my Adam's apple up and I've just let it all go. I don't even look at it anymore. Um, but yeah, so try to get in here. You can see that's my cheeks now. I don't know if you can tell from this crappy phone, but this is the side. You can kind of see, kind of goes up and then drops back down. Uh, you know, I've kind of gotten used to the gray in the front. It is what it is. Um, I mean, we're all going to get gray at some point, so just will not fight it. But yeah, just thought I'd throw up another quick uh, video on my process of just letting it become a natural beard. Um, if I were to suggest it to anybody now, I would suggest the same thing. Just let your beard just do whatever it wants to do. And try not to look at it that close, and I think you'll be much happier for it. Um, Again, like I said, I just get up in the morning, put a little beard oil in, forget about it for the rest of the day, and repeat the next day. And this is the happiest I've ever been with my beard. It looks the fullest that it's ever looked. Um, and I'm not micromanaging my you know, lines over here. So yeah, I can't wait to uh, see how it looks in the next few months. Uh, maybe I'll finally be able to get that beard down here that I want. Uh, this is a pretty much as close to as long as a beard that I've had. I met, let me measure it real quick. All right, so here, I do it the way they do it in the you know videos. I don't know if it's really accurate, but if you measure from the bottom of the chin, that's about where I am. Oh, it's about six inches. Let me do that again. If I pull it down, I guess. I don't know if you're supposed to pull it down or not, but pull it down. Yep, that's about about six inches there. So I guess technically, if it grows a half inch a month, that would, I guess, be um, a year. But you know, my beard's been going for ten years, uh, on and off. I mean, I've trimmed it down to basically stubble, and sometimes I'll just trim it down to a couple inches. So this is the longest I've ever gone without actually trimming it all. Um, and I think it just had to come down to changing my philosophy on growing a beard. I mean, I, I'm a perfectionist, and it's hard not to keep your beard looking perfect. But now that I have let it go natural, it's to me, that is perfect. But anyway, thanks for listening, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.